back guys, so a bit of a touchy subject. I've just fed Liam and I've just done my outfit of the day, I'll link that below for you. But when I was doing admin while I was feeding him, I went through my emails and I found one from my great uncle Jim. Um, so basically my great aunt Julie, who's my nana's younger sister, um, has been sick for quite a while and I got an email from my auntie about two or three days ago just saying that my aunt Julie is really really sick and that um, I should send a goodbye message which I've never ever done before I've never sent a death like goodbye message before the person's died so I did put it off for a day or two I was like well what do I do what do I send and I read the ones that they had sent I might read that after um, but um, I just thought that I would let you know what I wrote in case anybody out there is struggling to write such a thing. Um, I did spend about two hours on it, so <laughs> this is what I wrote to my great aunt Julie who ended up dying at 5am this morning. Apparently she died really peacefully but she did have a lot of pain control toward the end so it's really sad. Um, so I just said, Dear great aunt Julie, just wanted to say that I'm grateful to you because my family is filled with so many wonderful stories of you and they constantly share their lovely stories of, of memories with you. Thanks for always supporting the whole family in the many ways that you have. I'm unsure if you are aware, but I've been pen pals with the Sayers, um, which are their family, um, which is their um, granddaughters. So, especially Hannah, since I was about 10. It's been a wonderful friendship and I cherish our letters back and forth. I have enjoyed reading your letters as well, both to Nana Amy and Auntie Mandy, and to Michael and I. You should be proud of raising such a wonderful family, and be thankful that you are so loved. It's been a pleasure to have you in all of our lives. I'm thinking of you, and I hope that you're spending your precious time with family and friends, reflecting on the finer things in life, and all the wonderful things it's had to offer. I hope you move on to a place that's pain and stress-free, and full of happiness when the time does eventually come. But until then, rest up, cherish those around you, and tell them how much you love them. See you on the other side. Wishing you all the happiness, love and peace that the universe has to offer and beyond. Love always, Jess, Michael and Liam. With a whole bunch of kisses at the end. <laughs> so that's my message to my great aunt Julie who I only sent that message two days before she died. And now I'm really happy that I did send the message because I would, probably would have regretted it otherwise. So I'm glad that I did bite the bullet and do that. This one's from her sister Amy, who's my nana. Dear Julie, I thought I'd rather write to you and say my goodbye to you as I think I will get too upset over the phone and will upset you as well. So forgive me if I would rather send you this message instead. I do have my good memories of you and growing up all those years ago, dancing to the old 78 records together. Didn't we love that radiogram? It was never off. In the end, it's the memories that linger on. I'm so glad that you have your family nearby and Jim, Alison and Caroline must be great comfort to you. I know that I love you and always have, sorry, know that I love you and I always have. Till we meet again, cheerio, Amy, kiss, kiss, kiss. And this is from Auntie Mandy, who would be her niece, yep. Dear Julie, I am so sorry that you are so sick at the moment. I hope you have no pain. I'm glad to read that you are comfortable and being supported and well looked after by carers, nurses, family and friends in your hour of need. I thought hour of need was a bit funny, but all I was 10 years old the last time I saw you. It was when we visited you and your family before we emigrated to Australia. We had a wonderful time together. Alison was five and Carolyn was a baby. I still have the photo slides taken that day. When it was time to leave, I think we all knew that we wouldn't see each other again. It was the last farewell. I remember you ran around the corner to wave goodbye again as we drove away and you were crying. I was sad too. Over the years, I have enjoyed reading your letters, birthday and Christmas cards, and we have saved the photos in albums. You will always be in our memories and thoughts, and forever in our hearts. We love you dearly and send our prayers to you. We hope that you find peace. We send our love and best wishes to Jim, Alison, Caroline, Hannah, Zoe and Adam. Love, Mandy. Kiss, kiss, kiss. So that was a really nice message. I think the other reason that it's been a bit hard for me to write the letter was because I never actually met Julie. I've only seen her in pictures and heard about her through people's stories and that sort of thing. Out of all of my Nana's brothers and sisters, I did think that she looked like my Nana the best. So 
she was kind of like my favorite of Nana's siblings <laughs> if I can say that I don't know if I can just based on what I've seen and what I've heard um, so yeah it's kind of weird that my Nana's the last one of her six or seven siblings left so yeah it's kind of you know hitting a bit close to home that my Nana could die really soon so that's kind of sad as well <laughs> anyway on that note I'm gonna go and I'll see you soon bye